Okay, this is a video about excluding and filter paper. I'll try and make a more detailed one later in term with step-by-step -step written instructions, but for now we're just going to do it visually. I'll do it three times, so try watch and pay attention. First, fold the paper in half. It's important when you're making the folds that you get them reasonably accurately. The more accurate, the nicely, nicer the folds are going to work out in the end. If they're not accurate enough, it'll be very hard to do at all. So fold it in half and fold it in half again, and you get something that looks like that. Those first two steps are easy. After that, it can get a little bit counterintuitive. So fold one of those quarters back on itself like that. And then with the other quarter, do the same, but also backwards. So you don't fold them both at the same time. They both have to go backwards, opposite to each other. And now we're on our way to folding this filter paper. It doesn't take too long at all. Take one of the eighths that you've made and fold that back on itself. Now what you do is you follow that fold across and back and across and back. So you fold that eighth and then you fold it across and then you fold it back and then you fold it back and you fold it across and back and forth. And you can see you're generating an accordion section across it. And so if you do that four times, now you've got folds, you've got to fold it into sixteenths and then again take that and fold one of these sixteenths into a thirty second and fold it across and back and across and back and across and back. And there is a little bit of a knack to it, so it's worth just taking plain paper and trying it out. Cut some circles out of your A4 notebook and try do it. Maybe if you're sitting bored in a lecture, though I didn't tell you that. And when you've got it finished, what you end up with is a very neatly folded filter paper. It's also useful if you're stuck for a proper coffee filter. Anyway, let's give it a second go. So, take a plain circle of filter paper, or any paper if you're just practicing. Take that and fold it in quarters. Again, fold one of the quarters back into an eighth, like so, and then do the same in the mirror image on the opposite side. And what you end up with is something accordion like you see in front of you. Next, take one of the eighths and fold it back in itself like so to generate sixteenths. And then fold that back and forth and back and forth through. And you can see this time I'm speeding it up a little bit because as you get the knack of it, you can just fold it on your hands. And then you do that in 30 seconds and you fold it back and forth and back and forth. And you can get really quite quick at doing this, so you shouldn't worry that the first few times it takes you a while. If you need to do it a lot, you'll get quite quickly. You can see here I just fold it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And you can tell I've had a little bit of practice. And when you're done, you end up with a nice, neatly folded filter paper. Open it up and it's ready to go straight into your funnel. Okay, one last time. This time the gloves are off. So we fold it in half. A little bit of care, get it nice and evenly in half, fold it in quarters, get nice even quarters, fold it into an eighth on that side, and then flip it over and flip it back the other side. Next, take one of those eighths and fold that in half. So we'll just have a quick look at what it looks like. Everybody's there, fold that back in itself, make an eighth. And then as you want it to a Gordian back and forth, fold it back and forth and back and forth. And you can see I kind of take a shortcut here because it's a lot easier to do that in one than it is to do it in two parts. And now that I have it folded like that, do it again. And really we're just repeating the same motion. And once you get into the habit of repeating that same motion of folding it across and back and across and back and across and back, this becomes a really easy thing to remember. So there's only two steps that you really need to remember. That's when you fold it in half and you fold it in quarters. That's the first step. And then the second step is to just take one of the segments at the edge and fold it in half and then follow that fold across and back and across and back. And you do that as many times as the size of the filter paper will allow, which is usually twice. And when you're finished, you get a nice, neatly folded filter paper. Made you go into a funnel. Simple as that. Any questions, post them below or ask in Moodle or ask in the lab. See you soon. Bye.